Hey, Steve Stein from Guitar Zoom here. People have been asking me a lot how I get my bias effects sounds, my, my guitar tones that I get from the positive grid stuff. Um, you know, do I use bias amp? Do I use bias effects? And the truth is I actually kind of use them both. And I, 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 I'm going to show you today how I take the bias amp sounds and I import them into the bias effects software to get kind of a unique mix of the best of both worlds. So that's what we're going to be doing today is looking at how that works. So um, if you have any of the positive grid stuff, check this out. And if you don't, I'd, I'd strongly recommend that you have a look. Um, for me, as far as internal software goes, I think it's some of the best stuff out there. So let's have a look and see how this works. All right, so here we are looking at the bias effects software here. And as you probably know, many of my videos, I either use the bias effect software or I use the bias amp software. Now, before we begin, the first question that I get a lot is what's the difference? And really for me, the way I think of it is bias effects is really sort of the all encompassing um, software that has amps and cabinets and all sorts of different effects from reverbs to delays to choruses, flanges, um, and just all sorts of different things like that. Bias amp is more trying to build sort of the perfect amplifier without all the bells and whistles. So you can have a specific kind of amp and a specific cabinet and things like that. And you can, you know, you can tweak the, the settings of the amp. You can, you can change the tubes and all those sorts of things. And you can do all that in bias effects too, but think of bias amp as in my mind anyway, I think of bias amp as being more like boutique amps and things like that. Just specialty items to, to kind of build the perfect amplifier, if you will. Now, what you can do though, obviously, as I said earlier, you can take and import bias amp into bias effects. And so what I like to do is I'll go, you know, they have the cloud here on both bias effects and bias amp where you can click on this and you can go out and find, you know, different sounds by various artists or various presets that are popular, you know, different things like that. Um, and you can do a search for something in particular, if you're looking for a certain sound by a certain guitar player or a certain amp that you really like and things like that. So with bias effects, I find all of these, I, I tend to find sounds that are more affected, so to speak, for lack of a better term, things that have reverbs and delays and things like that. Because if I wanted a straightforward raw sound, I would almost exclusively go and use bias amp uh, because I just love the sounds that I get out of that. But sometimes I like to have a big reverb or a big lush delay or something like that for a solo that I'm trying to do or, or different things like that. So right here, you'll see I, I've loaded up this sound that says 80s hard rock. Now, I didn't make this sound. This is just something I got from the cloud out here and I downloaded it. Now I like the delay in the reverb and I have adjusted it a little bit prior to my recording to, of this. I've brought down the levels. I always like to have my delay and reverb. I love when you get done playing and you can hear it afterwards, but you don't really hear it as much when you're playing. So it's not getting in the way of your signal or anything like that. That's, that's kind of what I like the most. Now, I love this, this particular patch or preset, if you will, but I'm not a, a big fan of the, um, the Mesa Boogie uh, amp that's in here right now. Not, not that I don't like the amp, I do for a lot of different things, but for this particular sound, I would like something that's a bit more martial. Now, there are martial options. I'm going to show you this. I'm going to double click on this right here, and it's going to pull up a bunch of different things for me to choose from. I've got low gain crunch. You can see this on the left side, high gain over here. There's a bunch of different options of things that I can choose. The ones I'm going to get to are down on the bottom here. You see bias amp and bias amp two. So let's say I wanted to switch to a high gain here. And these are all different ones that either came with bias effects or they're things that I have downloaded. Okay. So let's say I try something like the EL 34s here. So I pull this one up. <laughs> Now, again, it might be really cool for a certain kind of metal thing that I'm doing, but that's even further from what I'm really looking for. So I double click on it again, and I already know where I'm going, which is down to the bias amp and bias amp two. Now bias amp was their first software that they came out with, and then they came out with the bias amp two. Now in bias amp two, there's all kinds of different amps in here that I have um, purchased and downloaded and different things like that. Uh, but the one I want to show you here which is 
all the way on the bottom. Let me get to the bottom here. It is the, uh, where did you go? There it is. The YJM100, which is the Ingve J Malmsteen 100 watt head. Okay. Now I don't own this. I know a couple of people that own these and, um, I don't own one and I've always wished I uh, could have one. And again, you might like something completely different and that's awesome. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to load this up by double clicking on it. And now it's going to change to that. Now it's overdriven a little more than I choose. And that's because of the pedal that's sitting right in front of it, which is this drive pedal. So I'm just going to single click on that. It's going to pull that up and I'm just going to bring this back quite a ways. I like having that pedal on. It's a really nice pedal, but I just want it brought back a little bit. And now I've got this very cool Ingve Malmsteen head that I have now imported into this preset called 80s Hard Rock. I took the Mesa Boogie out, which again is a fine app and I use it for lots of different recordings. But for this particular thing, I want something that's a little more Marshall mid-range, right? <laughs> So that's more of what I'm looking for. And you can see how easy it was for me just to add that in. And, um, and then if I come over here, I can actually click on this, which is the cab right there. And you're going to see it says green 25s. Now, if I wanted to, I could change the microphone. Okay. I could add a secondary microphone if I wanted to. I could change the speakers to something else if there was something else that I'd rather have. You can see right there, I've got the green 25, but I could change to something else. Now you'll see it says Bias Amp 2. These speakers are coming from options that I have from the Bias Amp 2 software. So let's go to others. No, there's nothing there. Two speakers, one speaker. Eh, let's stay with, with four speakers here. Let's try the, the vintage 30s. And then I'd have to kind of tweak everything from there. Now the truth is I'd rather have the 25s anyway. <laughs> Let's say I want to. Maybe change that mic placement a little bit, or maybe I wanted to pull in a, a 421 right here. So I've got that 421 now. I'm going to bring that over here. <laughs> And I just kind of combine those together. So how cool is that? So I'm using this particular preset that has these effects that I really enjoy, but I've changed out the amplifier to add in one of the boutique amps from the bias amp software. And that's all there is to it. Again, there's so many other things that you can do with this, but I just want to show you how easy it is to pull in one of those amps from the bias amp Two software into the uh, bias effects. Okay. Now, as I showed you, I've got both the original bias amp and the brand new bias amp two. And for me, there, there's just, again, I love the bias amp, but the bias amp two has got everything that I need and the sounds are just, just absolutely incredible. So hopefully that helps you a little bit on understanding how this works. Just real quick. You can always have particular presets too. Like, let's say I pull up this Mesa rectifier one, which is another one I really like. Okay. And let's say this one's got a, a split signal. You can see I've got a dual path here. I can actually switch out both of these amps and use something from bias effects and maybe add something from bias amp too. I can mix and match them together as well. So there's just a whole host of options that you can do by owning both of these uh, pieces of software. So hopefully that better kind of describes how I get some of my guitar sounds for my videos and things like that. And really, if I'm using some sort of plugin or VST, if you will, these are the two that I'm using. And now you kind of understand better how I'm getting those sounds. So take care, stay positive, keep practicing and have a great day.